Hi, this is Jesse Liberty for Telerik. Today we're going to take a look at how you can retrieve information from the standard dialogues that you can create with RAD Window. Let's begin by creating a new project in Visual Studio. We'll call that project RAD Windows Beyond Standard Dialogues. We'll say that it is a Silverlight 5 application. And when the Telerik wizard comes up, we're going to select Navigation for the correct reference and, and dependent references for the project. Once again, we're not going to work in the XAML, but instead we're going to go to the Code Behind page. And let's begin by calling a helper method to explore the overloads of the alert standard dialog. We'll call that create alert dialogs. We'll have Visual Studio generate a stub for us. The alert dialog has three overloads. Let's create the first one in rad window alert. And this one simply takes a string that will be displayed inside the alert box. The second overload for alert uses dialog parameters. We begin by making an instance of dialog parameters and then we set the content property of our dialog parameters object to the string we want to display in the alert box. We're now ready to add that instance to our alert box. So we call radwindow.alert and pass in the parameters. Finally, the third overload returns to using a simple string, but takes a second parameter which is an event handler that will be called when the window is closed. Let's come out below the create alert dialogs method and create the event handler on window close. And that takes two parameters. The first, an object, which is the rad window, typically referred to as sender. And the second, of type window closed event args, which we will call E. At this point, we can do anything we want in response to that alert being closed we will just put up a message box indicating that we have received this event. Let's go ahead and build and run the application. The three alerts will come up one on top of the other, so we'll start with alert three. When we click OK, we should see that message box indicating the event was captured. Alert two, you will remember, was created with the parameters and alert one with a simple string. Let's return to our code and create another helper method so that we can take a look at the confirm dialog. We'll go ahead and generate a stub for that and then inside create confirm dialog, we're going to call the rad window confirm dialog and taking a look at the overloads here, we see that the second overload takes the content and an event handler. So we'll put in our content, are you sure? And then we'll put in the name of the event handler that we want to use on confirm close. We can then come down and create our event handler on confirm closed, which once again will take two properties, an object, which is the bad window, and an object of type window closed event args, which we will call E. We can now examine E for its dialog result. And if that dialog result is true, then the user has clicked OK. And we can put up a message box or take whatever action we're going to take if the user does click OK. Let's run that. There's our confirm dialog, and if we click OK, there's our message box saying that we did confirm. Let's run that again. Just make sure cancel does not bring up that message box. No, it doesn't, but the OK button does. So that's the confirm dialog box. We also want to be able to get information out of our prompt dialog box. You'll remember that is the one that shows a text box, and we want to be able to get that text back out. Let's create a stub for the create prompt dialog and what we're going to do in here is very similar once again we're going to say rad window dot prompt let's look at the overloads that we have on that and we're going to take the overload that takes a string so we'll say enter your name and takes an event handler in this case on prompt window closed this will work very much 
the same way that the confirm did. However, this time we also want to get back the data that the user enters. Let's create our event handler on prompt window closed. It takes the same two parameters, the object which is the sender and the window closed event args. As we did with the confirm dialog, we can test whether the user has pressed OK or cancel by asking the window closed event args for the dialog result. And if that is true, the user has pressed OK. At this point, we're once again going to show a message box, but we want to show what the user entered. And to do that, we return to the window closed event args and we get the prompt result. And that will be whatever is in that text box. Let's run that and try that out. So we'll enter a name, press OK, and sure enough, it's able to grab that name out of the text box. Let's just make sure that it doesn't grab the name on cancel. So we'll enter the name again and click cancel, and we do not get the dialog box. It's not grabbing the name. So by pressing OK, we are pulling that name out of the prompt. I hope you've seen how easy it is to get data out of the standard dialog boxes and to go a bit beyond the usual use of RAD window to these more advanced uses. For Telerik, this is Jesse Liberty. Thank you very much, and I look forward to talking with you again very soon.